Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, today we will see about uh, how to reorder the correlation matrix uh, in our uh, software and uh, this tutorial is uh, based on the questions that arise from my followers and many of, uh, many of my followers asked me how to rearrange or how to reorder the covariates or the variables using our software so for this uh, sake of tutorial we're gonna use the meta package and then the data the name is data underscore g2 as you can see here the first three columns are um, uh, factors so that we are not going to use so we will use from column four up to column 11 even we have uh, we have 18 total columns but uh, no need to do the all so let's use it as an example as an example the first uh, four up to 11 uh, column and then i represented uh, this the new data into d then the uh, if you want to display the correlation uh, coefficient so you have to use the core coefficient uh, function that helps us to compute a correlation and this is built in meta and package then immediately put your data name so our data name is this that contains only numerical value so type this and send it to our studio then here so as you can see here uh, it is for it is random for example here is the planted second is uh, uh, here heading uh, or other parameters so p is uh, somehow far from e and again cl uh, cl again cd so this is not uh, reordered. So the first question is this, how to reorder? For example, if I want to alphabetically, let's say CL, uh, CL in the first place, CD in the second, CW, or um, for example, if uh, I want to bring EP in from, then followed by ED, then followed by CL. So in order to do this, uh, let's clear this one. Uh, in order to do this, there is three methods. The first one is the order function. So our data name is our new data name is D. Then you have to use the order function here. Then uh, you have to indicate again the column names. So the column names of each uh, uh, we will order the column names. So the column names are EP, ED, CL, CW, whatever it is. It depends on your uh, variables and the data that you have. So we will order the column names of what data? D data. So type this and send it to our studio. Then let's do the same things and we represented this into A. Then let's see, let's do the computer uh, correlation using the core underscore uh, cough or coefficient function then here then here so as you can see here the first one is a ph if you remember and here is cd cl cw ed ehl and finally ph so by this way uh, you can uh, order using or you can reorder your uh, covariates or variables in our using the order function then you can uh, plot uh, you can uh, then you can also do your graph and the second uh, thing is using the column number for example our data name is here is the new data name is this one as you can see here start, start from planted and with cw then i'm telling to r to bring column five in first place column four in second column one in three column 2 in 4 and etc and finally column bringing column 6 into what into the last position then we will assign again this data into d2 then type this and uh, before running let's see column 5 from the d data is what 1 2 3 4 5 so ed will be the first then column 4 is el so el will be the second then pH will be set because it is uh, here is one, yeah. And the last one is column six, which I think column six is this one, yeah. CL will be 
the last. So let's see. So let's run this one. Yeah. So by this way, uh, we can uh, arrange our data. And because column five, where is column five? One, two, three, four, five. It is first. Then, uh, then let's go to our code. Column four is what? Column four is eight. So by this way, we can arrange uh, or reorder using the uh, the column using the column numbers, and we'll compute the uh, correlation coefficient. Then we can do this. Then the third one is it is similar to the second method uh, we use here the column number, but instead here we will use what the column name or the column heading. So uh, you can use uh, here you have to use the correlation coefficient. Then uh, you have to indicate our data name. Or you can also indicate from the original data name because we are going to select some particular variables. Or you can use from the D as well. Then from that data, EP is the first, CD is the second, CL the fourth, and I, yeah, then finally up to EL. So this uh, helps us one to select some part. If you want, for example, to compute only for these uh, variables, and again to rearrange or to reorder of what your uh, correlation or your variables or your covariates. So by this way you can compute this run. Then finally, uh, for example, if you want to display alphabetically in this one is this help us to display only in the correlation uh, matrix, yeah, in the, in the correlation matrix here, the correlation matrix. But if you are interested to display in the graph, so you have to use a, a call plot uh, package, then let's say M is the one that contains the correlation uh, matrix, yeah? M means this one, yeah. Then uh, let's display as it is, uh, or alphabetically, the order is alph alphabetically, then M is the correlation matrix, the method is number, you can use a color, or you have to refer one of my tutorial that did regarding uh, core blood. Then the order is alphabetical. Then type is either upper or lower, you can use this one. Yeah, so CD, pure uh, first, CL, CW, ED, and all the plots are alphabetically rearranged. So by this way, you can uh, reorder the covariates or the variables in the correlation matrix as well as in the plot. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.